Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the first episode of me building an e-commerce website. Yes, this is yet another journey that I want to venture into. And even though I have not yet finished another journey that I'm uh, doing, the affiliate website journey, I think I can manage to work on uh, another project on the sideline because with the e-commerce it's uh, less about executing and more about just product research and finding the right vendors and it's more exciting than writing content you basically just find the right supplier you set the right margins you post your products and you wait and essentially you wait for the first customer that will buy your product and then you ship your product and you get the money it's that simple no more waiting for Google to give you organic traffic instead I can uh, use the Google Ads or Facebook Ads to funnel customers into my e-commerce store and I will see the immediate results and since there's a lockdown in my country I think that e-commerce industry will grow even faster than in the previous years more and more people flows into the internet are more comfortable with buying online and paying with their credit cards so the shopping habits slowly change and favors the online shopping and it would be stupid from my side to miss the train I think I should at least try to get my feet wet and try to build legit e-commerce store selling physical products to the real people and my plan is following first I will find the supplier which also means that I have already decided on what kind of product I want to sell and don't ask me what my niche is or what my product is because I won't tell you but I will reveal that this is not trendy product this is very niche product for very niche groups but I believe in this product and I feel that I could be passionate enough to promote this product to the wider audience so after finding the supplier I will buy a sample I'm sorry for my handwriting but I'm writing this on uh, my MacBook's trackpad and it's horrible so I will buy a few samples try if what kind of quality the product is and if it's even uh, possible to sell these products in my country yes I didn't mention it earlier but I will target local customers I want to uh, do a classic uh, Shopify dropshipping journey and selling uh, Chinese products to the customers in US I know it will be profitable and I might explore that options someday but right now I want to build a legit regular e-commerce from scratch all right so that would be my plan for getting the product the right product to sell in parallel I have to create the e-commerce store itself and here I have two choice I could either go with the Shopify route which is not free with the Shopify which is hosted on Shopify servers there's I think a regular payment of like $60 or something like that per month of course it's not much money if you sell a lot of products but I'm afraid that I don't want to incur that much cost right at the beginning and since the store will be in the local language and not targeting the international customers I'm afraid that Shopify doesn't provide enough plugins for me to deal with a country specific things like accounting integration to the logistic companies and so on so instead there's a second option which is going with a open source solution with WooCommerce and WooCommerce is just a plugin built on top of WordPress and fortunately I have uh, extensive experience with WordPress I've been doing WordPress websites since 2008 so I think I should be capable enough to create a nice website just by using WordPress and WooCommerce but the thing with WooCommerce compared to Shopify is that it's not that simple it's not like out-of-the-box solution that you can just turn on and build your store with drag and drops you know in WooCommerce you have to really dig deep into the source code to customize your templates to look at 
how you want it to look like. But since I like coding, I like building stuff with code, then it won't be an issue for me to relearn PHP, uh, relearn uh, all the WordPress stuff and dwell into WooCommerce source code. I think it will be helpful and maybe one day I will learn how to create WooCommerce plugins or uh, WordPress plugins, who knows. And the good thing is that even though I hate PHP because it's a horrible language compared to HTML or Python, it's really outdated, I would say. I don't have to rely fully on PHP. Thankfully, WordPress has something that's called REST API that allows me to build a front end fully in JavaScript. For example, with a framework like React, Vue, JS, or another front end frameworks or Svelte, who knows? So I don't have to rely fully on uh, PHP for creating and designing the storefront. I can build everything with just JavaScript and with HTML. Of course, there's question if WordPress and WooCommerce API has uh, enough flexibility to allow me to use the functionalities that I want. For example, if I install a plugin that deal with uh, calculating the value added text, how difficult it will be to add this functionality into API. If it's simple, like adding a hook or adding a function somewhere inside the WooCommerce source code, then cool. But if I had to do the, all the integration by myself, by hand, then it will be a nightmare. But I'm ready to explore this route because for me, it's very important to have the complete ownership of my project. With the Shopify, I will be relying on third-party application, third-party plugins. And of course, I would have to learn the Shopify way of doing things. And since it's not customizable, then whatever I learn by customizing the Shopify templates, it won't be transferable and I won't be able to monetize my hard-learned skills. Instead, with uh, WordPress and WooCommerce, I I can create a product from what I have learned and I can customize my WooCommerce store to my likings. And believe me, I have a lot of plans with what I want to add to my WooCommerce store. So I'm very excited to start this journey. This is just a first episode where I'm explaining what are my, what are my plans. And I plan to record my journey uh, developing a WooCommerce store. So this is uh, what this video is about. It's just announcing that I'm starting a new journey and if you want to see how I'm building a WooCommerce store then definitely like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and see you in the next video